Uh, but let's talk now about a diplomatic row brewing between Dublin and London as Ireland plans to return asylum seekers to the UK under new emergency laws. Simon Harris, the Taoiseach, has asked for proposals to be brought to Cabinet next week after concerns were raised that the UK's Rwanda plan had already caused an influx of asylum seekers. Now, I'll be tackling this story in my Take It 10. You won't want to miss it. I'll be dealing with the Irish Taoiseach in no uncertain terms. And I'm a paddy, so I won't pull my punches. But first, let's take a look at the legal and political implications of this in the company of the leader of UKIP, former Tory MP and lawyer, Neil Hamilton. Neil, good to see you. Are we obliged to take these migrants back? No, certainly not. They're illegal immigrants to the United Kingdom to start with if they come here. And the Irish government uh, has no power to return them to our shores. So, I mean, I think this is a highly amusing situation because under Leo Varadkar, the last Taoiseach, of course, Ireland basked in its own moral superiority. And, of course, he weaponized the, uh, the Irish border between the south and the north and uh, mm. refused to have any uh, concept of, of uh, border controls. So now the Irish have got what they wished for. And uh, I think we should send every single illegal immigrant to Britain over to Newry or somewhere like that so that they can walk across the border and seek sanctuary in uh, the place where they'll be totally safe. Because after all, if the United Kingdom isn't safe for asylum seekers, it would be quite wrong for us to accept them in their own interests. Well, Neil, it is ironic, isn't it, that Ireland want migrants returned to their first safe country of arrival if only the French took the same view. Well, indeed. And of course, it was the Dublin Agreement uh, of the EU which established this uh, principle in the first place. But now Dublin mm. seems to have rejected its own uh, named agreement. But you know, this just points up the total hypocrisy of governments all over the place where uh, they want to escape uh, their own responsibility for the migration catastrophe, which has now engulfed us all. And uh, uh, there is no solution to this problem unless we take a, a sort of united position that uh, we control access to actually the whole of Europe at the minute because the whole continent is being besieged by the rest of the world from, uh, from Africa and from Asia. And the numbers of people who want to come to the West for very obvious reasons that they get a much better life here materially and in other ways as well. Uh, then we simply can't cope with the numbers. But uh, countries like Ireland in the past, uh, of course, have felt that they were immune from these problems. Yeah. And now they are facing it themselves. Of course, they're having to face up to reality for once. They've been drinking the woke Kool-Aid and they don't like the taste of it. Um, is this diplomatic row proof that the Rwanda plan could actually work? Well, in a perverse way, it could, except that they go to Rwanda, to Ireland rather than Rwanda. I don't care where they go, so long as they're not in the United Kingdom. Mm. Um, how do you see this playing out? This will embolden Rishi Sunak, won't it? Well, you know, Rishi Sunak is a complete weakling, I think. Uh, the, I don't think the Rwanda plan is actually going to make that much difference in the grand scheme of things. I'm very happy to try it. Uh, but mm. I don't think that the numbers that can be t sent to Rwanda are going to make any real difference in the short or indeed even the medium term. Uh, the big elephant in the room, which Sunak has utterly failed to grapple with, is that because of the European Convention on Human Rights and the UN Refugee Convention, then we can't be a sovereign country controlling our own borders. And nor actually can any signatory of those agreements. And so until we recognise the reality that these agreements were signed three quarters of a century ago in a completely different world, and they're not fit for the purpose today, then there's going to be no legal answer to this problem. So I think that you know, Britain should leave both of them, and we'll control our own borders as an independent nation. Yes, we want to uh, give sanctuary to genuine asylum seekers, but overwhelmingly, they are bogus, the ones who are landing up on our shores.